Hey, Sarah. Cowbells telling us it's time to start the show. Hey, everybody, welcome to Explore Killington. We're your hosts. I'm Slato. And I'm Sarah. And we are so excited this half hour is coming your way. And it's all about the World Cup. You know, we're first show of the season, and we're just so excited. The winter is getting off to a fantastic start. It really is. It is officially the first day of winter. We are into the season, and the World Cup was so big this year. It was the second year that Killington had it. And I mean, when it was bigger, badder, and bolder, there were more people, the athletes were off the hook, and oh my God, if you didn't make it up here for the World Cup event, we are gonna have some great footage for you coming up in this show. That's right, I was able to get up there with cameraman Corey Potter. We got some exclusive interviews for KTV, including a great interview with USSA President and CEO, Mr. Tiger Shaw. You know, he's a he's a Vermont boy from way back, and now he runs the whole USSA program. And he, of course, was here. I got some good uh, information from him. I got some interviews with a lot of the athletes up there as well, not to mention all sorts of fantastic footage from the World Cup. You know, it's hard for me to imagine how we were able to top last year, but believe me, we did top last year. It was, it was huge. I made it up there on Sunday and the event was absolutely spectacular. There's just so much work that goes into making sure that World Cup happens. And we're gonna check in with Tiffany Saltis. She's gonna go with a little look behind the scenes on what it really takes to get that event kicked off and going because it does not happen in one day. They do a great job doing that. We're also going to check in with a new thing this year, the Ambassadors Corner. Those are the guys in the green jackets out there helping you get around. And they were also an integral part of the World Cup and making sure that there was volunteers getting people where they need to go. So we're going to check in with Mike Cahill, or Mickey as you might know him. And after that, we're going to go to our favorite part of the show, at Bray Ski on the legendary Killington Access Road. Not sure which place we're going to hit yet because there's so many choices for us, but we'll discuss that a little later. While we do that, I think you guys got to kick back and take a look at some of this exclusive KTV footage that we were able to get for you, and it's all about the World Cup 17 FIS Women's World Cup right here in Killington. Enjoy. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the 2017-2018 Audi Fist World Cup. It's the best skiers in the world right here. Killington with the Xfinity Cup. We're hosting the Women's World Cup, a giant slalom Saturday, a slalom race Sunday. We've got the fastest women on snow in the planet right here in Killington. We're coming to you from the heart of the village that we set up here at Killington, and KTV's gonna cover all the action start to finish. The GSS is gonna start in a little bit. You know, this little bell work we did last year, I think it's time to bust out the big bell, if I can get it out, buddy. Let's go. Get the cowbells out, people. We're racing. Who are we rooting for today? Michaela Schifrin. Racing. Michaela Schifrin or Laura Goode. I can't, I can't tell. Laura Goode. I love this slope and I, I love this snow. The Killington crowd, they cheer on everyone. If you go to Austria, people are just cheering for Austria. Here, everyone's cheering for everyone, and I think all the skiers appreciate that. Once you cross the finish line, to look up and see so many people supporting you is a very cool feeling. Yeah, it really pumps me up. You know, I get that like extra little like, yes, I can do this, and I, I love the crowd and love the people. So for me, I, I really enjoy it. Hey everybody, welcome to day two here at the Xfinity Cup in Killington. I'm Slato for KTV. You know, yesterday it was the GS and it was Victoria Remensburg from Germany who dominated. She knocked our own Michaela Schiffer off the top spot, but Michaela had a strong showing in second place. Today it's slalom, and that is Michaela's strongest event. Let's see if she can get to the top of the podium today. Uh, so I need to like fix that and still just uh, charge, yeah, all the way down to the finish. That's what Shepard does. So, but I've been um, having a little bit of a hard time just, just like holding back a little bit too much, just being kind of fearful of that finish. And so for me, it's just about going 100%, and it doesn't matter what happens because getting 15th place is not part of the program anymore. <laughs> This is incredible, you know, it's always been our dream to come back to Vermont with the World Cup. 
and Killington really, you know, stood up and said, we'll, we can do it, we'll do it. And two years in a row now, they've just completely nailed it. We owe it to Killington for what they've accomplished. The athletes have loved it. You know, what they care about is a fair race and a tough race, and that's exactly what you have here. You have a great snow surface, which takes incredible work to get that together. Well, that's going to wrap it up here from Killington, Vermont, the Audi Fisk Women's World Cup slalom race here, the Xfinity Cup, we called it. Bridget Shield from Austria took the bronze. It was Petra Valhova from Slovakia taking the silver, but it was the USA's Michaela Schifrin, the reigning Olympic and world champion slalom skier, our hometown girl, that's right, we're claiming her as one of our own, took the gold medal today, number one spot on the podium. She's a repeat winner here. She's the queen of the racing. Nobody does it like Michaela. It's unbelievable. Well, that's going to ramp it up for the World Cup coverage for KTV here on Slato. Hey, everybody, it's only a year away. The next World Cup is coming back. Slato, that was year two of the World Cup at Killington on the famous Superstar Trail. I mean, just so much fun. I went up there on Sunday and it was so awesome to see Michaela just rip up that lower wall. Yeah. Oh my God, crushed the competition. And you know, one of my favorite uh, interviews, Irene Cortoni, uh, a member of the Italian team. She came in third, a podium finish for her, and a Courchevel in the Italian Alps, uh, the French Alps, excuse me, uh, this past week. So it was exciting to see, you know, one of these athletes that I was actually, in fact, able to interview and see her up on the podium with Michaela, of course, of who course. won the event. Um, but for me, just thrilling, because how often you get to, in fact, be in the presence of someone who is, in fact, the best in the world at what they do in their chosen craft. You, of course, get to do it every week when you work with me on the TV show. Look at you. World Cup Slatos. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, coming up, as promised, we got to speak to the USSA President and CEO, Mr. Tiger Shaw, as I mentioned before. Tiger's a Vermont native, and he runs the entire United States Ski and Snowboard Association. He was absolutely thrilled with what Killington has done. Let's check out what Tiger Shaw had to say about Killington and the World Cup. All right, joined now by Tiger Shaw, President and CEO of U.S. Ski and Snowboard. Tiger, what does it mean to bring a World Cup event to Vermont? Well, this is incredible. You know, it's always been our dream to come back to Vermont with the World Cup. And Killington really, you know, stood up and said, we'll, we can do it, we'll do it. And two years in a row now, they've just completely nailed it. And it takes a lot. It takes a huge community, a thousand volunteers, obviously a lot of money, a lot of snow, a lot of effort, and a real commitment. So we owe it to Killington for what they've accomplished. We know there's a contract in place. We are hopefully going to be hosting the race next year as well. Do you see a future beyond next year here? Absolutely. You know, a lot of it's up to Killington and Powder Corp as to how much they want to take on. We've had such a great event here two years in a row. We're always going to want to come back. Uh, 20 fall of 19 is open at this point, so we're not sure what's going to happen then. So we usually kind of go in two-year increments, but mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that we couldn't keep coming back over and over again. Can you just briefly touch on what the what the impact for having a World Cup event here in the Northeast can mean for this whole area? Mo a lot of people watching on TV may not be racers. They may not understand the enormity of this of this race. Yeah, well, you have a worldwide TV audience. You've got live NBC in the afternoon today on Sunday, and you just have incredible social and digital reach. So the impact of that is hard to measure, but you can measure it objectively, and it creates so much strength in the brand, the brand of Killington, the brand of skiing and riding in New England and in Vermont. So it has a big impact all the way through the community. You bring a lot of extra people here on Thanksgiving weekend, mm -hmm. and the economic impact can be very large. And the the commitment's very large, but this is a big game. This is a worldwide tour, and you don't mess around. You go big or you go home. Now, lastly, as you've talked to the athletes, not only from the U.S. ski team, but also uh, representing countries of the world, what has their impression been of Killington hosting this event? Well, the athletes have loved it. You know, what they care about is a fair race and a tough race, and that's exactly what you have here. You have a great snow surface, which takes incredible work to get that together. Mm -hmm. and. 
it's so easy for them to get here, flying to Boston, flying to New York, Albany, Burlington. And at this time of the year, it's really tough to run races. And Europe has a hard time running races in November. And the U.S., we have a great track record of doing it. So I think they're grateful that we can pull this off so they can have a great start of the season. Awesome. Tiger Shot, thanks for your time and continued success to the U.S. team, particularly being an Olympic year. You got Thanks for killing me. All right. Slato and Sarah hanging out here at the K1 after a fantastic day of skiing. You know, the World Cup kicked it off and Mother Nature's been just so cooperative here. It really has. Unbelievable. We're looking, so looking forward to this holiday week coming up and more of the show. Now, we're going to have snow scientist Tiffany take a closer look at what it takes to put that whole World Cup scene on, right? And it is a scene. I mean, they put up the tents, they put up the VIP tents, they put up the bleachers, they put up the fencing. They have to do all this grooming and make the snow and... Yeah, it's a circus. I could circus. go on and on, it is a circus, but they do such a great job at it and Tiffany's gonna show us how it happens, which is really cool. That's coming up later. We're also gonna interview some of the athletes. I know Slato's already mentioned he got to interview Irina. Uh, Irina Cortoni, yes, I did, absolutely. He really liked her accent. She does speak English and she has a cute English, accent. She said yes, but with an Italian accent. So that's perfect. One of Slato's favorite interviews. Sure. Chef Claude. My staff and I love to cook, and this is my invitation for you to come dine with us. Bon appetit. Welcome to Base Camp Outfitters, your Alpine Touring and Telmark Specialty Shop. For the past 30 years, our focus has been to offer the best product available to help give you a great mountain experience. And if you're looking to save a buck, check out our bargain basement and consignment shop. Down here, there's always a great treasure at a great price. Also, we now offer the largest Telmark and Alpine Touring rental fleet in all of New England. And don't forget, Base Camp is where all your mountain adventures begin. Where's Mario? Mario. What a day! Am I late? When in Killington, Vermont, and you want some truly great pizza, Dominic's is where you want to be. We make our dough here in the restaurant every day. Every pizza is hand tossed to order and topped with the freshest ingredients. You can taste the freshness. Don't worry about it, guys. I got this one. The Red Clover Inn and Restaurant is the intimate and sophisticated Vermont Inn for romance and relaxation. There's exceptionally locally sourced dining that is elegant yet casual, complemented by creative cocktails and an international wine list. And with event facilities that can handle everything from romantic weddings and rehearsal dinners to secluded business retreats, you'll be sure to come away with memories that last a lifetime. Get away from it all at the Red Clover Inn and Restaurant, affordable elegance in the heart of the Killington Valley. <laughs> As you know, this was the second year of the World Cup here in Killington, and it has such a massive event for the mountain and the town. And I mean, such construction that went into building the course. 
you know, the course and all the uh, the auxiliary and auxiliary things that go along with it. And the amazing too, if you didn't get a chance to see it all and you come up here, you wouldn't even know that anything had happened. So not only do they have to put it all up, someone's got to break all that down. Mm -hmm. But it is a mini little city that they build. It's, it's it amazing. was. It was a village here at the base of Killington. They had vendors, they had bleachers, they had a big World Cup VIP tent. Yeah. Big screen TVs, you name it, they had it. Not to mention feet after feet of fencing that they had to put up. <laughs> yeah, and if you missed it, we're sorry for that, but you know what? Tiffany has it covered for you. Let's take a closer look at what it takes to put on the World Cup right here in Killington. In case you haven't heard, Killington is hosting the 2016 Women's World Cup Slalom and GS events. It all comes down to about two and a half minutes. That's how long it'll take most of the racers to get down Superstar's 3,200 feet of steeps that reach up to a 49% gradient. So who spends the most time preparing for those 160 seconds? Well, the athletes, of course, some of whom train a lifetime for this moment. But a close second is the course crew and Killington's mountain operations team, who spend months preparing Superstar to meet the standards of the world's best. First and foremost, there's the snowmaking. Beginning months before the actual event, Killington's snowmaking system, the largest in the known universe, takes advantage of every opportunity Mother Nature gives them. Over 50 acre feet of snow is needed, which includes covering Superstar top to bottom and side to side at a minimum depth of two feet. To perform this amazing task, it requires 180,000 gallons of water and compressed air surging through 100 snow guns. Next comes the grooming. A week into snowmaking, the groomers start to shape the train, guided by poles that the course designers have planted on the hill. Snow is pushed up the hill to minimize snow loss. With a 48% pitch on upper Superstar and a 49% pitch on the lower, requires the use of a winch, which relieves about three quarters of the machine's weight. Just enough to get the job done. When the course chief is satisfied with the shape of the trail, it's time to lay down the actual course. The course is constructed by laying out a series of gates, formed by alternating pairs of red and blue poles. The gates are arranged in a variety of configurations to challenge the competitors. Finally, there's the safety equipment. About three and a half miles of A nets will be used. These 20 foot tall nets mark off the most hazardous points on the trail, helping to ensure that an athlete who tumbles crashes into yielding fencing and not a tree. Protective padding goes onto signs, chair lift poles, or any other structure that an athlete might bang into. Then about 10 miles of B-net will be set up on the sides of the course for protection, and 10 miles of spec fence used to keep the crowd where they're supposed to be, well away from the course. 55 race crew members, 23 patrollers, 12 support staff, 5 winch cat drivers, and about 400 volunteers help with making this 150 second run as perfect as possible. So that's it. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to understand it but it certainly doesn't hurt. Now it's time for me to leave the lab and engage in a little field research. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you out there. Thank you, snow scientist Tiffany. That was the World Cup construction of that course. As you can see, it takes hours and hours of blowing snow, resurfacing, grooming it out, and it's still there, so get your booty up here to Killington because the World Cup course of Superstar is open for you to ski right now. That's right. Well, one of the veterans on the U.S. team is Racy Stiegler. You know, her dad, Pepe, was an Olympic gold medalist. Um, they live out there in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and Racy has been on the team for many years. She's kind of one of the uh, veterans of the team, if you will, and always it's so nice to speak to her, so nice to see her here in Killington. I had a golden opportunity to do a little one-on-one -on -one interview with Racy Stiegler. Okay, joined by Jackson Hole's Racy Stiegler. Racy, welcome back to Vermont. Thank you, good to be back. Tell me, what's going through your head when you're in the starting uh, gate here? Um, for me, you know, you want to perform, especially at home. The crowd's amazing, and you know, it's another World Cup, so you really want to get those points and do well. But I've been um, having a little bit of a hard time just, just like holding back a little bit too much and being kind of fearful of that finish. And so for me, it's just about going 100%, and it doesn't matter what happens, because getting 15th place is, not part of the program anymore. You know, we want to get that top five, and if you give it your all and ski like you can, you can get in there. But sometimes mistakes.
things happen, and as long as you're going for it. I know that you could hear the crowd in the start gate. Yeah. What does that do to, to get you psyched up? For me, it really pumps me up. You know, I get that like extra little like, yes, I can do this, and I, I love the crowd and love the people. So for me, I, I really enjoy it. It was hard for me to tell who was more excited when you crossed the finish line, you or the crowd. Yeah, I try to get everyone involved. You know, everyone's out here watching us, cheering for us. I probably wouldn't go to a ski race if it was me, so <laughs> I'm really impressed by everyone's enthusiasm and everyone like is here for you, so it's important for me to give back to them as well. Well, everyone is equally impressed with you and your effort and everything you do for the U.S. ski team, so good luck to you. Thank you so much. You know, as I mentioned in the interview with Racy there, it's hard to tell who was more excited, Racy or the crowd. It was just awesome. She's a she's an awesome athlete, incredible athlete, and just so nice to have her here. And I hope she is still on the team next year because I want to interview her again. I'm looking forward to it. And I bet she will be. She's quite the athlete. Yeah. Well, we are wrapping it up here from the base lodge. We're going to head on down the road for a little ad break, but we've got way more Killington TV coming up for you after this. So make sure you do not go anywhere. Stay tuned. Had enough of that yet? <laughs> More cowbell! <laughs>I'm Christine. Welcome to Basin Sports. We are a favorite year-round shopping destination for all things Killington. A full-service bike shop and everything for every type of skiing and snowboarding. We demo everything we sell so you can try it before you buy it. And we've got the best performance rental fleet available in the industry. The Basin is open till midnight on Fridays starting in December so you can start to play early Saturday morning. We love to ski and ride and it shows. That's why we've been here for almost 60 years. Being the oldest doesn't make you the best. Being the best makes you the oldest. Skiers serving skiers since 1958. is the best farmers market in Vermont and possibly in New England and you can find just about any food you're looking to eat here. Rutland is is uh, privileged to have one of the few 52 week a year markets and it feeds an economy not just the people. The farmers market here is open every Saturday and every Wednesday. Wednesdays from 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock and Saturdays from 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock. And we'd really welcome everybody to come visit us. Hello and welcome to the Highline Lodge. I'm Kristen Anderson, owner and chef. We've just completed a facelift here and are currently open for ski season. Please come join us for Opry Ski in our fireside lounge. Take the chill off and sample our crafted cocktails featuring local spirits while enjoying the magnificent views of Killington. Our vibrant and flavorful menu changes with the seasons and always features fresh local products. We would love to host your next event or family gathering at the Highline Lodge, located up the Killington Road. When someone asks you, where are you from? Do you smile? Do you think of family and friends and neighbors? Do you describe honest, hardworking people who choose lifestyle first and then figure the rest out? Next time someone asks you, where are you from? Smile and tell them, I'm from Rutland. Help us spread the word. Tell us why you love the real Rutland County at realrutland.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sport Killington. Moving down the road right here to one of our favorite local spots. It's the Lookout Tavern. Where is it? Well, it's easy to find. It's your first left as you exit the ski area and come down the hill. You can't really miss it. It's right here next to Basin Sports. We come here all the time, not just for the free peanuts, but because on Thursday in particular, which is when we tape the show, as you know, Sarah, 550 Long Trail Ale special all winter long. Mm -hmm. We got Hibernator on tap two. You know, Long Trail was one of the first 
I'm going to say microbreweries up here, right? They do make some good brews, but I would say still a microbrewery, even though the Long Trail Ale is one of our favorites. Hibernators are winter seasonal. They get some good summer ones, but they're always mixing some new beers in there. They're trying some new stuff with the CBD oil. They had a ginger honey wheat one that they came out with. Mm -mm -mm. We have a lot coming up here at the lookout. We're going to meet up with Sneaky Pete in a few minutes. He's cooking up some of his finest in the back. Can't wait to see what he has. But first, we're going to go to the ambassador corners and catch up with one of our favorite ambassadors. I don't know uh, if it's a highlight, but it will. it's something that kind of I get emotional about. I was working uh, on the day that Michaela Sheffern made her final run on the Sunday in the World Cup. And I was up at the Northridge Triple with people who were skiing that day, because I was assigned to ski on the mountain. And when she made her final run, everybody on the mountain stopped, took out their phones, or we could even see her final run from the Northridge. And you could hear the crowd noise come up the mountain, and you could see the people clapping, stopping skiing and clapping up on the mountain. And I just think it was a true Killington moment and I was glad, even though I wasn't at the bottom of the hill, to share that. Well, I can't think of a better way to uh, take the edge off a cold day up there than a little pulled pork poutine here at the Lookout Tavern. And the man responsible for it, my good friend, Mr. Peter Mittendorf. Pete, good to see you, buddy. Great to see you Happy again. Happy holidays holiday. to you. You too. <laughs> thank Looking you, forward thank you. to another great season here in Killington. Oh, absolutely. Now, we're down here at the Lookout. We happen to be here taping the show on Thursday. Again, to remind everybody, specials on Long Trail every Thursday, all season long down here. Not only Long Trail, yeah, we're going to have Hibernator down here too. But we've got this beautiful dish and many other beautiful dishes on the menu. But you guys are really got some good lunch things happening here too, don't you, this season? Yeah, we're... Um, we are one of the few places up here that does lunch seven days a week. Uh, we open at noon daily. Um, uh, we serve until 10 o'clock every night, except Fridays we stay open till 11 or later, depending on business. Um, with the uh, great snow coming for the uh, Christmas weekend, and there's some really cold weather uh, in the forecast, you can anticipate a nice busy lunch business here for us. Um, lunch menu varies. Uh, we have daily lunch specials, uh, always have hot soups. We have five soups available every day, a bunch of salads, all our famous burgers, among other sandwiches. And if you're interested, we'll even serve you dinner at lunch. So we have all that available to you anytime. Yeah, you know, there's no shortage of uh, places to eat here in Killington, but you guys are one of the few that are open right here at noon, not 3 o'clock, which doesn't help you out if you're hungry for lunch. And you could already have a, uh, you know, four full hours of skiing up there. Now you're hungry, you got the kids, you got everybody. Let's go down and eat at the lookout at noon every day, right? You bet. Yeah, good stuff. Um, also, you mentioned you're late open uh, openly till Fridays depending on business but you get in here late on a Friday night you're coming up from wherever you're coming from Philadelphia New York Boston you had to work late or something you get up here man it's 10 o'clock you don't want to go down to that condo and try to get something to eat you want to come right up here and let Pete make your dinner for you be happy to or some of your other staff too I know you don't work here 24 7 but uh, you know I'm you work here a lot. I am certainly here often. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Tell me quickly about the poutine here with the pulled pork. It looks so uh, good. Pulled pork poutine, local Vermont cheddar cheese curds on there uh, with a authentic poutine gravy and uh, in-house smoked uh, barbecue pulled pork. As far as I'm concerned, Pete, there's only missing two things. A giant bib and a big fork for me, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing us out. And we'll be seeing you a lot this season, right? You bet. It's 2 in the morning. And the bakers at Jones's Donuts are doing what they've done best for over 90 years. That's right, for over 90 years, Jones's hand makes donuts, pastries, cakes, turnovers, just about everything you need. Well, maybe not need, but want. You know you want one, maybe a dozen. How about tomorrow morning? Perfect. We'll see you there. Jones's Donuts, over 90 years of perfection on West Street in Rutland and open Wednesday through Sunday. Hi, I'm Steve. Welcome to the Killington Motel. My wife Robin and I have been the proud innkeepers for over 10 years. We offer affordable, clean, comfortable accommodations and a wonderful breakfast to start your day. We are also home of Killington Coffee Roasters, where we roast and sell our single origin coffee. If you are looking for a bed and breakfast or a bag of freshly roasted coffee, stop by and say hi. We would love to see you. We are conveniently located between Pico and Killington. 
espresso bar, specialty cocktails, art gallery, and restaurant. Liquid Art is the place in Killington to get ready for your day and unwind when it's over. We invite you to enjoy work by local artists while dining on healthy fare, signature drinks, and specialty coffee in an atmosphere that is relaxed, cozy, and unlike anything else on the mountain. Stop in for open mic night, our jam, Sunday night supper, or try one of our raved about monthly wine dinners. Killington's Coffee House, where everything is a work of art. Liquid Art, the bright blue building two miles up the Killington Road. Killington Sports is the first stop on the Killington Road and the last stop you'll have to make. You'll find the area's largest selection of goggles and helmets, clothing, accessories, tuning, and repairs. Best of all, you can get rentals and lift tickets here and go straight to the hill. They have great merchandise from brands like Patagonia, North Face, Obermeyer, Flylo, Dekine, Burton, and Under Armour, including the latest in lifestyle clothing from Kuehl and Purnell. Killington Sports, make it your first stop on the hill and get on the hill first. Sal here from Mogul Sports Pub. You know, the only sports pub in Killington. Mogul's offers free mini golf, air conditioning, two pool tables, dartboard, and TVs everywhere. Plus the best game room around. And if you're hungry, we offer wood-fired burgers, steaks, gyros, barbecue ribs, and of course, the best lobster deal in town. So just pop in at Mogul's and say, Sal sent me. Ski you there. At Northern Ski Works, we want you to have tons of fun on the snow. We'll get you on the right ski. We'll put you in the right boot. We'll get you outfitted in comfort and style. We'll get you adjusted and balanced. We'll get you finely tuned. We'll get you accessorized and we'll outfit the kids. We'll keep you informed at northernski.com. We've got all the gear in here, so you'll have fun out there on the slopes. Northern Ski Works, conveniently located in Killington, Vermont. Moguls, that's right. Where's it located? Well, it's easy to find. It's about halfway down the road on the left as you're leaving the ski area. Mm -hmm. And why do we come here? Because I think, bang for your buck, you can't beat Moguls, mm -hmm. right? And if you do miss it on your way down, just keep, keep an eye out for the smoker outside because it has the best ribs in town. It's, smoked right outside by Chef Sal. Chef Sal, that's right. You know, he's got a name for that. They call him Jack. Jack and the smoker's a Jack giant. The smoker. Yeah, he's a giant pig, and I think what's it weigh? 2,200, 2,400 pounds. Uh, I can pick it up with one arm. <laughs> well, no, you... <laughs> it's huge. It is huge. Yeah, it's <laughs> unbelievable. We come down here. I'm telling you, the ribs they fall off the bone down here. Well, listen, I know you're gonna, I think, grab an interview with Sal, the man himself, very shortly. But while you're doing that, let's head back to our ambassador corner. We're gonna check in with one of our favorite ambassadors right now. <laughs> I don't know uh, if it's a highlight, but it will, it's something that kind of I get emotional about. I was working uh, on the day that Michaela Sheffrin made her final run on the Sunday in the World Cup. And I was up at the Northridge Triple with people who were skiing that day because I was assigned to ski on the mountain. And when she made her final run, everybody on the mountain stopped, took out their phones, or we could even see her final run from the Northridge. And you could hear the crowd noise come up the mountain, and you could see the people clapping, stopping skiing and clapping up on the mountain. And I just think it was a true Killington moment. And I was glad, even though I wasn't at the bottom of the hill, to share that. Well, folks, it doesn't happen very often, but I have managed to catch up with the man himself, Sal. Sal, welcome to Killington TV. Ah. So good to see you. Happy holidays. Thank you. And the winter season is finally upon us. What does Moguls have in store for the season? You guys got a bunch of big stuff coming up. We have some good things coming up. First and foremost, we got tons of snow. Friday nights, DJ Dave's back again for the whole season. All so. requests live. And then we got supply and demand on Saturday nights. And if they're not on Saturday night, it's, it's a Super Stash Brothers which again from last year, great band. Awesome band, um, the, they do such a great job. Josh oh, and Vince and the boys. Yeah, we have a lot of fun with mm -hmm. them. Aaron and all the guys, I mean. And then New Year's Eve, we have the Super Stash Brothers again this year. 
You know, so I always want to sing the Mario song. Do, 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 do. Those guys give me the happy feet. They're I awesome. Tell they you, really I, do I, a great job. If you haven't had a chance to get up to Moguls and see the Super Stash Brothers, you're missing out and you need to get here. He just said New Year's Eve, they will be here and every Saturday, if every, not every yep, other every one. Every other Saturday and DJ Dave every Friday. Every Friday. Now, what do you guys have for food specials going on? Um, actually, we got a new late night menu coming out this Ooh, year. Ooh, tell yeah. me about that. Everyone's yep. looking for late night food. Yep, so we got some new stuff coming out after 10 o'clock at night. It's strictly late night. Perfect. You know, fried Twinkies to... <laughs> that uh, sounds naughty. Oh, I tell you what, they are so sweet. If I didn't have that sweet tooth, I'd probably eat the whole box, but at the same token, <laughs> one is enough because they are so sweet, but they are great. Like, Little vanilla ice cream on top. Yum! And, like, and that's available after 10 o'clock. You after heard it 10. right here. Yep. Um, that, you know, we have a bunch of other stuff. We got steak tips back on the menu this year. Very you know, cool. Taking, and still your $9.99 burger and a beer. Burger and a beer, yep. Um, Wednesdays will be burger and a beer with a long trail beer for $9.99. For $9.99, you know, long trail special right there. Yep. And then uh, Magic Hat specials will be on Thursdays. Same thing, $9.99. You get a Magic Hat beer for 16 ounces. Fantastic. Ounce. You can't beat that. Well, Keep the money in your pocket. As, mm -hmm. as we used to say, drink at Moguls where your wallet stays fat. So you heard it right here. The snow is flying. The food is good. The music is off the hook. Come in here, play some pool. We've got the arcade downstairs for the kids. Yep. It's great for the whole family. So make sure you come on down to Moguls and we'll ski you there. Thank you so much, Thank you, Sal. Guys. Thank you, Sal. Always great to sit down and chat with him. One of my favorite people here in town. Always has something good to say. Yeah, absolutely, he does. Well, you know, we're just going to wrap up our show for this week. Uh, we're putting a little wrap on our world. World Cup coverage, but we are going to be thrown to the World Cup all year long. Why wouldn't we? You know, it's mm -hmm. one of the biggest events in the world. It's called the World Cup for a reason, right? Yeah. And if you did not catch enough of World Cup footage here on Killington TV, you can catch up with us on KillingtonTV.com, or we are also on all those fun media pages that we all like to be on. FaceTube, YouTube, Instagram. Did I mess that up? Face FaceTube? 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 Yeah. I think we the know Book of Face. Right. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And like I said, Killington TV. So I know it's hard to get enough of us. Check out all of those pages. And if you can't get, if you get enough of us, be sure to check out Bettina. She hosts our show called Killington Today. When it's on, when is it on? Every day, 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. right here on Channel 14. Now the show is live on weekends. It's live all during the holiday week. Why do you want to watch? Because Bettina is going to give you all the updated trail information, weather conditions. We got Pete Duffy, uh, mm -hmm. head of our ambassador program. He is constantly calling in. Then he comes live into our studio, live in the studio, to give us the latest updates. Pete's already been on the hill sliding around. We have Tiffany, our on snow reporter up there as well, giving you the latest updates for all the snow conditions. It's going to keep you right abreast of everything that's happening right here in Killington. You don't want to miss it. It's Killington today every morning, 7.30, right here on Channel 14. Slato, I think that does it for us. Stay tuned for more Killington TV, but that does it for today. So stay classy, Killington, till next time.